deep breaths. Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So this is going to be uh, the continuation of my previous semi-annual sale haul. Uh, this is going to be my online order. So we'll see if anything is going back. Because if you watched my last video, there were a couple of things that smell like they were going bad and that I didn't notice in the store. And so they're going back. But I have a box right here that I'm opening. And we're going to see if there's anything that's broken. And we're going to see what it is that I got in here. This is so loud. Oh my God. Okay, so... Okay, I was like, why? I don't remember ordering two candles. And I did order two candles. And my legs are falling asleep. Okay. We got some puff pillows. Let's see here. Let me show you this one. Because, you know what? I should have opened all this stuff. Did I show you my nails? They are super lemon. I gonna open this these are so hard to open i'm gonna break my nails oh okay is everything sealed everything is sealed why do they have to make things difficult why is everything sealed i don't think anything's broken but it's all sealed okay hold on okay so not everything in the box was sealed, so I didn't have to open everything, but it is one major pain in the behind to open some of this stuff up. So, I have two candles. One, if you watched my last video, you know I found it in store for 75% off, but I also got it online for 75% off, and that is Tree Farm. So you can celebrate Christmas in July. This smells like Christmas. This is crisp pine needle, warm cedar, spiced apple. I don't smell any apple in here at all. It just smells like Christmas trees. Then this one I got because I was intrigued by the notes. This was not on sale. This was like, a, no, it was on sale. I'm sorry, but it wasn't 75% off. It was not 75% off. It was like 12, 1295, something like that. And that's Ebony Sands. So sounds like the name of like a, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so Ebony Sands is ebony wood, tobacco petals, warm tonka with essential oils. So ebony wood, tobacco petals, and warm tonka. I like it, but it has this weird scent of like, it smells like tobacco, and it smells like wood and the tobacco petals and I want it to smell like leather it should be wood tobacco and leather or some kind of like manly cologne -y note but instead it has that warm tonka which makes it smell like rotten meat it has this weird weird after scent to it I don't know I gotta think about that one and then I got um, the lotion because I picked up the, sh not the shower gel. I picked up the body cream for my boyfriend and then I forgot how much I love this scent. This is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I did not get it in the shower gel because the shower gel doesn't smell like the lotion. The shower gel smells like really like fruity, like a berry fruity scent. It It doesn't smell like a creamy coconut scent. So... I didn't get the shower gel. So this definitely smells like coconuts. It um, it also smells like there's some pineapple in there, but I know that's not listed in the notes. So that is tropical white coconut, salt water breezes, and sun bleached woods. So one Waikiki beach coconut. And then I also got the Waikiki beach coconut in the fine fragrance mist which we'll let that dry down a bit. 
I like the packaging on it this year because this to me smells like a unisex, um, like a gender neutral fragrance. And so if you want to gift this to a, a man, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I think anybody can love any packaging. You could have, you know, whatever, give to whoever, whatever, you know, but I'm just saying like, if you're, if you're giving something, a traditional, you know, something out and you want it to be more gender neutral, let's say you're buying it for your grandpa or something. Um, I like this packaging. Yeah, smells like coconuts. And then I got the set. This is the only one from the 70s collection that I wanted and the only one that I got. And that is Disco Daydream. You know how much I love the purple. So I really wanted Disco Daydream. I waited for it to go down to 395. The notes on this are Cali Days, which nobody knows what that is. Cali Days, Wild Vanilla, and Radiant Coconut. How does a vanilla become wild and a coconut become radiant? I don't know. So this is just like a creamy, fruity. It's a creamy, fruity scent. I think the packaging is what really sells it. Um, I don't think if, if this had like a plain packaging, I don't think it would sell as well. You know, Bath and Body Works, they're all about the marketing. So Oh, that smells nice. It smells like so fruity and summery. So yeah, it's nice. And then I picked up a couple of soaps and I could kick myself because these dropped in price. Now I could get a price adjustment, but I don't know. I'm There's no receipt in the, in the bag. I think I'm gonna have to pr print out the receipt not a, in the bag. There's no invoice in the box, which is weird. So the reason that I got these online is because I couldn't, I could not initially find them in stores. Why did they feel sticky? So I got two of the champagne toast and ice cinnamon rolls. This is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and warm cinnamon rolls. So I figured this is going to be like super, super duper sweet. So we'll see. I smelled it in the store. It's not going to open. I smelled it in the store and it smelled, it won't open. I smelled it in the, in the store and it didn't smell like I thought it was going to smell. And why is it sticky? Um, let me see if I can open this other soap. So I said I wasn't going to get it, but I caved. So I got the 25th anniversary packaging in cucumber melon. Chris, Crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, and juicy cantaloupe. How come I can open this one and I can't open the other ones? Yeah, it smells just like cucumber melon. It smells really, really good. I mean, it, it's a fresh, wonderful scent. There's a reason why it's been around for 25 years. And it's just a super good scent. I'm going to try again to open why can't I open this? Why can't I open this soap? I cannot open the, the champagne toast and ice cinnamon rolls. Can't do it. I, I literally cannot open this up. I can't. Why is it stuck? All right, I'm gonna try washing my hands and and see if it's because my hands are sticky that's the reason why i can't open it but that's ridiculous hold on i'll be right back okay i washed my hands and i think i'm able to open this now i think it got unstuck so champagne toast and ice cinnamon rolls that's sweet that is sweet Oh my God, it smells better now than when I smelt it in the store. But if you can just imagine, because I had the ice cinnamon roll soap from last year and it was smelled really sweet. And you know, champagne toast already smells sweet. So when you mix the two together, it's like sugar overload. 
this is going to be, oh, it's so good. If this goes down to 75% 75, 75 off, I would say go get you some. Go get this. Um, highly recommend the champagne toast and ice cinnamon rolls. So, yeah, everything was good in this, uh, in this box, except the Ebony Sands. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I burn it, you know? Candles smell different on cold sniff than they do when they burn. So maybe that odd tonka bean note won't be as weird when it burns. And uh, I'll have to bring you a review. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. Until then, have a blessed day, a blessed evening. And uh, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.